Good morning, Sipitans. I hope you all are doing okay today. Thank goodness for technology, as I had a conflict this morning, but I was able to video myself so I can still share my thoughts with all of you this morning. For those of you who may not know me, I am Kinley Ziegler, the Region 4 District Junior Civitan Director. I am so proud to represent all our Junior Civitans. <clears throat> We had a great leadership council working with their committees made up of members from each of our Junior Civitan clubs. Our region of Junior Civitans has already been working on different projects in their own communities since our year began in the summer. Some of the projects include helping at school fall festivals, making cards for the patients at the VA hospital, helping with 5K events, and making candles for a fundraiser that helps families with food insecurities. This is just a few of the projects. There are many more projects that clubs will be doing over the next month to make the world a better place. Last weekend was World Junior Civitan Day, and we celebrated by holding our first Region 4 district meeting. Not only did we have 50% of our Junior Civitan clubs attending, but we also had Civitans from our sponsor clubs, liaisons, men and mentors. We also had two esteemed guests, Civitan International President Joanne O'Toole and Junior Civitan International Vice President Brooke Porter. Both shared inspiring thoughts with our Junior Civitans. And it wasn't just me thinking it. I was told the president of the John Adams Club even mentioned at her meeting on Wednesday that it was an inspiring meeting. To make sure all the clubs didn't miss out on what we was shared during our meeting, the session was recorded and has been issued to clubs so they can watch it and hopefully be inspired as those in the attending. <clears throat> our leadership council wants to help all of our clubs in region reach success this year. We have several goals for this year. The first involves the committee set up and led by our officers to work on different areas during the year. The goal is to have a club rep on each of the committees so we have a voice of each club being a part of our plans and decisions. Another goal is to grow our membership in the current clubs. COVID did affect our club's membership, but now that the schools are back and the new normal, we hope to see a 15% growth in membership over what the Cardinal and Chesapeake districts combined had last year. As we said during our meeting, this can be achieved if each club has had at least eight additional members over their membership of last year. Communication is a key to success, and we have a goal to stay in touch with all of our members. The Leadership Council will be using Instagram as a communications tool, along with issuance of newsletters that will be emailed to members. <clears throat> Recently, the Service Project Committee has recommended, and the Leadership Council has approved, our regional service project for this year. Every city and town have so many senior citizens that are homebound due to medical or other issues. If it wasn't for Meals on Wheels that goes out to the homes delivering meals to these people, they wouldn't get proper nutrition. But there's also their emotional needs and to be fed. And that is where our junior civitans are going to help. For the remainder of our year, clubs are asked to make cards and decorate placements so that it can be delivered with the meals by Meals on Wheels. We hope to brighten their day by these small tokens to show them someone cares. These can be done for the different holidays or at any time. For example, Christmas is in December, so the placemats can be holiday related. Or spring is in March and the theme can be for spring or February for Valentine's Day. We hope to have hundreds of cards completed by our members by the end of the year. That means we'll be making people smile hundreds of times over. Perhaps your clubs can also consider participating in our project in your own towns and cities. And for those who sponsor our junior, our junior clubs, you can set up a time for the two clubs to get together and work on the project. <clears throat> this brings me to another goal that our club sponsor relations committee has for the year. We want to strengthen the connection between the sponsoring Civitan Club and their junior Civitan Club. It has been shown when there's a solid connection and interaction between the two clubs, both are successful. So throughout the year, we are going to find ways to strengthen our connections. Another goal was to hold a regional fundraiser to help our junior civitan since we no longer collect district dues. The fundraising committee has also come up with a fundraiser and has been approved. It is an online bingo game. There are details that need to be worked out for this fundraiser in the near future. We would love to have you participate in this fundraiser. To help us in our planning, please enter the chat of this Zoom if there were any preferred days and times you think may work best. I will bring this information back to the fundraising committee for their planning. While on the subject of money, I want to speak with you about the 2023 All In Summit. With all of the changes going on in international, the plans took a bit more time than normal. But the good news is that the event is scheduled. 
Junior Civitan International is proud to host the fourth annual All In Summit in Birmingham, Alabama, home of the Civitan International Research Center. On March 24th to 27th, the 2023, the All In Summit will bring back together Junior Civitan's clubs, district, and international leaders for a leadership weekend filled with service, knowledge, and fellowship. As governor of the Cardinal District, I attended All In Summit this past March. The time spent in Birmingham was awesome. It touched all of the pillars of Junior Civitan. The knowledge I gained during the weekend about developing and working as a leader and as a person, experiencing the unbelievable work done at the Civitan International Research Center opened my eyes for sure. The service we did together as a group for the school for those with IDD was great. We spent the afternoon cleaning the school in vans, some painted room in the school, and we all ended up preparing the letters for a huge mailing to support the school. The last pillar of fellowship cannot be described fully. I met so many junior civitans, worked together as a team, formed friendships, laughing, doing team building activities, and having a weekend filled with great memories that will remain in me for the rest of my life. In addition to this, I surpassed my goal of raising $2,000 for the Civitan International Research Center. I am already registered to participate this year as the Region 4 District Director. As I mentioned earlier, All In Summit is open to all clubs and district officers as well, and I want them to share this in this wonderful leadership weekend that also supports one of the greatest research centers, the Civitan International Research Center. There are some things the same and some that are different for directors and other officers. We all have to pay a 250 registration fee for the weekend that will cover our lodging and meals. The difference is directors must raise a minimum of $1,500 for the CERC, and the others attending must raise a minimum of 750 for the CERC. Uh, the club and district officers must also pay for their own transportation. The biggest difference is that I, as the director, can ask for donations from you, the Civitans, but the other, the other officers cannot formally ask you for donations and support. I will be reaching out to your clubs with a letter giving you all the details about my efforts to reach my goal of $2,500 for the Civitan International Research Center. As for other officers that want to attend All In Summit from Region 4, there is no law saying that you can't support them. For example, if you are the sponsoring club of the officer attending, you can offer to make a donation. They just cannot formally ask you for a donation. So we would appreciate any support that you can give Region 4. Um, each participant, including myself, will have to page on All In Summit site where donations can be made online. So if you will have a way to make a donation either by going to All In Summit site or mailing in a check. I hope I haven't confused you too much because now I want to share with you some great news about donations for All In Summit. This year, we have the great opportunity thanks to the generosity of the FCIDD. We now have a Region 4 District Junior Civitan All In Summit matching grant. Donations to the Region 4 Junior Civitans for All In Summit will be matched up to $10,000. This generous grant will significantly increase our mission to support the groundbreaking research at the Civitan International Research Center. It is time sensitive though. Once the $10,000 ma match is reached, it is done. In the past, Civitan Club donations and donations have made by members of a Civitan Club are eligible for Civitans at the helm credit. If your donation is early enough to be eligible for the FCIDD matching funds, your club will receive matching Civitans at the helm credit too. But it gets even better. I want to earn three times Civitans at the helm's credit. Make your donation online to my All in Summit fundraising page on Giving Tuesday, November 29th. In addition to the FCIDD matching grant, Civitan International will give you all three times Civitans at the helm's credit. Donations must be made on Giving Tuesday, November 29th. If you or your club members make an individual donations as well on Giving Tuesday, those donations are also eligible for three times Helms credit. Just be sure that your club name is included when making the donation. As always, we the Junior Civitans appreciate all the Civitans do for us. We know that we would not be an organization if it weren't for all of you. You are our mentors, supporters, role models, and we look at you as we grow as junior civitans each year until we become caring and aware adults in our communities. I wish I could answer any questions you may have about our great junior civitan in Region 4 District, but I'm sure that our great chair, Carmen Gorby or Jeannie Jarrett, my personal mentor since I was in sixth grade, can answer any of them for you. Thank you again for all you do as civitans and the civitan parents of junior civitans. 
We appreciate all the support and kindness you give each of us. Have a great rest of your day.